Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Harika. So in previous video regarding the storage buckets, we have seen multiple activities. How do they work and few examples in order to make them understand very clearly with respect to properties and the functionality. So I hope that is clear for you. So in today's video, I'm going to explain the remaining activities which are delete storage bucket download storage bucket list storage files with respect to upload storage file so these are the four different activities that we've gonna see and we've already finished um, how the functionality and the properties are defined for list storage files so we will see how we can retrieve the values with respect to uh, file activities of list storage files so without any delay let's go into the demo of it so first of all, I will upload the storage file. So basically this upload storage file is used to upload the file of any type into the storage bucket. So first of all, what I'm going to do is we will see the properties and we will see how we can upload the file into the storage bucket. So first I would take one of the file from here. So uh, we have already seen the text file how we will upload by using the right storage text so now i'm going to pick uh, one of the file from here so if you just observe i have taken input of uh, files which are different forms like one is text file i have uh, excel file i have pdf i have a png file and remaining all are text files so i try to pick uh, different types of files into a, a folder of files which i will be uh, pushing it into the storage bucket in few minutes but before to that let's see one example how this works actually so first of all i'm going to take this pdf just copying this and just giving it over here so that i can just take the name of the file and provide it here so if you see in the properties we have from so I would provide PDF and the destination like what we wanted this to be named as so I want to name it the same what I've got it from here and the storage bucket like I have shown you what uh, is the name of the storage bucket and uh, how we can create a storage bucket in the previous video so if any one of you have missed the previous video you can go and check it so that you will get more clarity on what our storage buckets are and why we use them and how to create and different activities with demo and examples so now what I'm going to do I will just create one variable bucket name just like the example which I've shown earlier so my storage bucket name is sample bucket which I've created earlier so I can use this variable in all the activities that I'm going to use later and now let's execute this one piece and see how this works So this is my storage bucket. I should get my PDF file into this uh, list of uh, the files. So I believe I've got it here. It is here. If you just observe, we have the file here. Correct. So we have uploaded the file here in the same way we can upload multiple types of files. So how we can do that is first let me just take an assign activity to just load all the files from the folder into a list. So I'm as I have it in my directory using directory dot get files. and in which folder i have it i believe it's in a files folder and i have different types of files pdf xlsx then uh, png then i have text files so they are uh, they all are of different extensions so i would go and say star that means i will pick all the files no matter what the extension of the file is and i wanted to convert whatever the files that i'm taking into a list 
so i would say to list so this is how i can pick the files and take it into a list so now i should have a variable which is of list form a uh, list type so i would say um files list so i have to declare this variable as list you can find it under system dot collections dot generic under this you can select list and these are of type string so that's how you can store all the files into a list and you have to iterate it for each file so for each file in this list so it's of type string we have selected in the list right so i wanted to upload the file so what can i do here i wanted to upload each of this item so instead of this uh, selecting more specific i have to pass the path of the file so it would be item dot to string so this item itself contains the path of the file and i wanted to save it under the same name so i would use same name in the destination and we have to storage bucket so this is how you can load the files so let's delete this even though if you don't delete it will be overridden so let me just put a break point over here and show you how this actually works so first of all when you see here file list we can see what it actually contains so if you see we have the seven files in it so let's go to the project folder and see here in the files folder we have seven files which are as shown here and now uh, the first item would probably be the bucket.txt file so if i say item dot to string so you can see that file here so that file would be uploaded whenever it finishes the execution of this part so you can check that here so this file uh, got uploaded into the storage bucket in the same way you can see all the files getting uploaded into the storage bucket when we execute that so the next file would be final out dot xlsx which is an excel file so if you just see here we have files final out dot xlsx so we can see pdf got uh, uploaded png got uploaded so all these files will get uploaded storage text and the execution has finished so this is how you can upload multiple files which are of type uh, different from one another by using the upload storage file into the storage bucket and now we will see uh, in the uh, in the previous video we have seen how we can uh, extract the files uh, if it's of text type by using a filter so now here also we can do the same thing by using the list storage files so instead of using for each it itself iterates because of the property called recursive it will be set true so until unless it meets the filter condition is true it would try to iterate and uh, pull, out, pull out the results in the form of a enumeration so let's see how we can do this so now here i am having the directory as files so i wanted to extract all the files which are there in the files folder so now i am not a uh, very precise about what file it is so i am going to give double star and i have already mentioned it's of the uh, directory files and uh, i am not bothered about what is the extension and what file it is so that's why i have given star and i should give the bucket name and where i wanted to store this result into we have seen in the previous video that it is a uh, list like i enumeration so we can store this value into uh, let's suppose list where i can iterate it later 
so i can say files list we have already given files list so we can say output files list let's create this okay i think i haven't copied it so output files list so if you see it's i enumerable of uh, storage information so it will retrieve uh, and gives the list of that files so now what i'm going to do is once after i get the list of all the files which are there in the files directory i wanted to download the files one by one so for which i will take for each loop for which i can give the output of this as an input so i can give you output files list and i would say download storage file so first downloading this i have to give the path of this file so if you just see here the output of this is we have to change here from object to okay so the type argument should be of type uipath.core.activities.storage.storage file info so let's change that to the same so you can just find it over here and say okay and once after you do that you have to set the properties for download storage file so the path of the file you should have to provide here so so uh, item basically contains uh, a collection so from which you have to take the path of the file so i can say from item you have to give a full path and you have to convert that into a string as an input to give as a path property and you know that we have to provide the bucket name and under what name you wanted to save this into when you download where the destination of the file has to go so i wanted to same save it under the same name of the file so i would say and you can do many improvisations to this based on your project requirements but now i wanted to save it under the same path file so now let's do this i would put a breakpoint here and we will execute this so we have seen that all the files were already uploaded into the folder uh, into the storage uh, bucket but still even though if we run it again it will overwrite the previously existing files and now we've reached the download storage file so now what i'm going to do is whatever the files are there it, anyways it will write into the same location so i would just cut all these files and i would go to demo here i would paste this here just for backup and if you see there are no files but by the time it download and save it to the local it has to download all the files from the storage bucket so let me just uh, check it by this time two files has to be downloaded so if you can see it happened so now i would take off the breakpoint and finish the execution and all the files should be here so that's how we can do if you wanted to move it to any other folder also you can just provide the folder name uh, along with the extension of the path so that would do and now once after a download we are left with only one activity which is delete so once after i download i just wanted to delete the files from the storage bucket so how we can delete them so you can just pull it into the same loop and i will download and delete it once after i do that so the path that you have to provide here is the same path like the one which we've done earlier like item dot file full path dot to string and you should give the storage bucket name that's it so once after you execute this the files from upload storage file files from the files folder will be picked 
and each file will be uploaded into the storage bucket and this will pull uh, the information of all the files that are there in the fold in the directory of files and once after we pick the information it will be iterated through each file we will download the file and we will delete the file from the storage bucket so that's how uh, there's a small uh, demo that I've pulled around these activities to make you understand how we can work through different files and multiple files. So this is how we can work it out. So let's see how this executes. I would put a breakpoint here so that we can see how this functionality actually happens. So we are here at the delete storage file. So if you see, we have all these from the files directory. So there are almost seven, four plus three, seven. And now what I'm going to do is, we'll see parallelly how the files are getting deleted. So bucket file got deleted and now files final out and then this will get deleted. I'm executing thrice. So three files should be deleted and three more should be there. So three got deleted and three are still there. So that's how we can do the operation. So by end of this execution, we will have nothing from the files folder in the storage bucket. So that's how delete storage uh, file works. So I hope uh, this is clear for you. So this is all about the storage bucket and you can work on multiple improvisations on the same uh, concept. And this is how the functionality and the properties of the storage bucket uh, have. These are the different activities. So I believe this video is useful for you. And uh, if you like the content, please do like the videos and share with your friends and do subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching and stay tuned to my channel for more interesting videos.